turn now to a woman who knew how to make us laugh. Estelle Harris, who played George Costanza's overbearing short fuse mother in Seinfeld, passed away this weekend at the age of 93. Chris Connolly has a look back at her life and her career. Good morning, Chris. Hey, good morning, George. And it is a true legacy of laughter given to us by Estelle Harris, forged from her performances on Seinfeld, showcasing her unrivaled flair for high volume hilarity. I go out for a quart of milk. I come home and find my son treating his body like it was an amusement park. <laughs> on Seinfeld, opposite Jerry Stiller and Jason Alexander, Estelle Harris could make her character go from zero to outrage in a heartbeat. You have no eye for fashion. I have no eye for fashion. All right. Where am I going to sleep? I can't. I can't. I'm not taking advice from some girl from Long Island. I said as George Costanza's mother, she was comic gold in any situation. I told you to fix that thing. Serenity, no! Alongside her ever aggrieved husband and their perennially beset son. I, I love your son very much. You do? Yes. Really? Yes. May I ask why? <laughs> Those arias of maternal dissatisfaction made her a series favorite, even when she was just a voice coming from a doll that resembled her. Georgie, don't eat with your hands. <laughs> Why do you eat so fast? You can't even taste it. That voice would also bring her success in Pixar movies. I'm packing you an extra pair of shoes and your angry eyes, just in case. As toy tuber Mrs. Potato Head. Oh, it's so nice to have a big, strong spud around the house. Spouse to insult comic Don Rickles, okay. Spudmaster General, in the Toy Story films. You have saved our lives. We are eternally grateful. You saved their lives. Oh, my hero. And they're so adorable. Let's adopt them. Daddy. Younger viewers also came to know her as a villain's doting mom on Kim Possible. Mother doesn't know I'm a supervillain. She thinks I'm a radio talk show doctor. My Drew helps people with their problems. <laughs> and on the sweet life of Zack and Cody as a maid at the Tipton Hotel. My doctor says I should stay away from chocolate and younger men. Born in New York in 1928, Harris kickstarted her acting career in a series of TV commercials. Oh, you ain't got a thing if you ain't got that cling. Estelle Harris died April 2nd at the age of 93. I love you, said Julia Louis-Dreyfus on social media. The joy of playing with her and relishing her glorious laughter was a treat, tweeted Jason Alexander. I adore you, Estelle. Love to your family. Serenity now and always. No one could pull off a Hall of Fame harangue quite like Estelle Harris. She'll be fondly remembered by millions of grateful fans, George. She spread a lot of joy. Okay, Chris, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.